What's driving demand here? Is it the landlords that are interested or is it the potential tenants who are telling their landlords to get on board? Yeah, the Airbnb Friendly Apartments uh, program is off to a very strong start. And I think that's because it addresses a real, real need out there uh, for renters, which is housing affordability. Uh, in the United States, renters, 46% um, of renters uh, are cost burdened. That means they're spending 30% or more of their income uh, just to pay their rent. And this disproportionately impacts uh, young people and those living in cities. About two thirds of young people, two thirds of those in cities uh, rent. And that's really Airbnb's core audience. And it's an audience I can relate to because when we started Airbnb, it was simply to help us afford our own rent. We had quit our jobs to become entrepreneurs uh, and we rented out an extra bedroom. And if I were to do that today, it's a good chance my landlord wouldn't allow me to. Okay. And so with this program, we're helping renters to find apartment landlords uh, who will uh, support their hosting activity on a part-time basis. And you can come to our site now and find 260 apartment buildings across 38 cities uh, in the United States yeah. uh, that will allow you to host. The 38 cities is interesting because that's ramped up since you first launched back in November as well. Is this a, a regulatory discussion that you're having as well? Uh, well, it, we launched with uh, 175 buildings across 25 cities. It's now 260 buildings in 38 cities. And there's two layers to this. Of course, there's the regulation uh, that exists city by city. And in most cities, uh, you know, there's regulation now in place, and it allows people to rent their primary homes on a part-time basis. But even if the regulation allows you to do this, you still need permission from your landlord. And so this program really works with landlords uh, to create a framework uh, that uh, makes them comfortable giving permission to their mm. tenants uh, to become hosts. What gets them comfortable? Because they need to have a lot of faith in the tenants that they'll keep the building that they're going to be offering up to scratch that becomes a pleasant experience for anyone who's walking into one of their particular high rises. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, uh, just visibility into what's happening in their buildings, right? They want to have uh, an atmosphere that is conducive uh, to a, a good sense of community in their buildings. And so they want to have certain controls to make sure that this is happening only on a part-time basis um, and that they know who's coming and going from the buildings. So we have a software suite uh, that allows the landlord to uh, see who's hosting in the building, how many guests are coming and going, and really uh, have a sense of control uh, over what's happening and effectively enforce it too. Uh, the second part of that is that um, we are allowing landlords to market themselves, to market the fact that they are friendly to Airbnb hosts, mm. uh, that they allowed us. And so uh, they are now featured on our website. You can come to our website and you can see these 260 buildings across the U.S. Um, and if you're interested, uh, reach out to the building to sign a, a, a one-year lease. Um, and so we're effectively driving leads to these buildings, driving their core business, reducing their marketing costs. This is a... a, a importance to them too. As the economy rolls over, do you think more and more will seek this? Have you, have you been able to line it up as to people who are more worried about cost of living and, and whether or not this does well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it definitely plays to the times uh, where there's economic uncertainty uh, and questions about housing affordability. So I think now more than ever, this is relevant. And I think in particular, you know, we're well positioned to uh, to create this product because we have the audience that really understands that hosting uh, enables people uh, to to pay their bills, uh, to uh, you know start their their company. Uh, these are folks uh, who are young. Uh, they're often in urban areas. They're very fluent in Airbnb. They they want to do this. They know that this is something that would help them. Um, they just need to know which landlords are are going to support the activity. And so we're kind of playing matchmaker here. We we have the demand. And now through our partnerships, we have the supply. And often these are international landlords. Would this ever go beyond the United States? Yeah, so we're working with a range of landlords, um, smaller landlords and larger ones, uh, including uh, Graystar, uh, UDR, Equity Residential, Starwood Capital now uh, just signed on, uh, and many more. And this will continue to grow. Uh, we're actively partnering with a backlog of, of landlords we're working with. I do think this will expand uh, beyond the United States. We're starting here. And frankly, we're going slow because we want to uh, make sure this works for the landlords as well. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that this is a success. And, and, and if it's success in these 260 buildings, then yeah. we're confident there's going to be many more buildings and we'll take it outside the U.S. as well. And why does it work for you? For Airbnb, the company. Yeah. Yes. 
uh, it's important because look, one third of uh, Americans rent, and that's a large part of the market. Uh, and so we, we want to make sure that they're not categorically uh, disallowed from participating uh, in, in Airbnb. And, and so this is really meant to unlock a big part uh, of the market, and particularly young people, those in cities. I mean, this is our core demographic that, uh, you know, by, def by default currently cannot host. And so this program is, is in intended to really unlock that and change the industry's perception and see this as Airbnb, not as uh, something they, they need to uh, tightly control or prohibit in their buildings, but really as a economic opportunity that can be embraced uh, with the proper controls in place. And again, it is all about controls and making sure it's happening on a part-time basis, which is what our tools allow.